John Ramsey is an expert on what's in ecstasy. He runs a drugs database and has collected hundreds of ecstasy pills over the past 20 years. Yes, this is, uh, an, again, an, an ecstasy tablet that's got the Mitsubishi logo on. Many pills have street names that reference famous brands, and tests have shown a huge variation in their quality. I'm sure people do believe that if they buy the same brand marking, they'll get the same product. But of course, the amount of drug varies significantly from tablet to tablet. At the 2009 Glastonbury Festival, John Ramsey's tests on confiscated pills showed just 8% contained MDMA. Today, he's testing three different pills with the same logo to find out if they are the genuine article. So this one here is forming the colour and these two aren't. So this one has MDMA in. They're all tablets and with a Mitsubishi logo on, but only one of them contains the active drug that people actually want. The trend at the moment is very much for pills not to contain MDMA at all and to contain CPP, which is what I suspect one of these contains. And I suspect the other one is probably Plaster of Paris, which is just a complete rip-off. CPP is a fairly nasty compound. It causes headaches, it makes people feel nauseous. And in fact, CPP has even been used experimentally to induce migraine. It's, it's a very unpleasant compound. What's happened recently, I think, is people have lost confidence in ecstasy tablets. So we've seen the appearance of MDMA in crystal form. And I think the general idea that crystals are pure caught on. But just because the drug is pure doesn't necessarily make it safe. Safety is difficult uh, because we know that MDMA kills people. I mean, at the height, probably 40 or 50 people a year were dying from MDMA. We've seen very few, if any, deaths from CPP. So it's probably no more dangerous. It just isn't what you expect.